Aisha Yusuf reacts to the killings of IPOP members in Onyibo and also the killing of Shites. The CNN investigation into the Lekki Gates incident has indicted the Nigerian army and also the federal government for killing its citizens during the NSAS protest. Why the Nigerian army still maintain that the army did not break protocols and followed the rules of engagement? Many of these claims have been refuted by video-based evidence. Some people have also resulted in saying that the incident never happened or it's been exaggerated greatly. To this effect, a guy on Twitter had this to say. Some people want to downplay Lekki so bad, but lay more emphasis on Onyibo. Like it is not the same military under the command of Buari that committed the crimes. Reacting to this, Aisha Yusuf noted that those who downplay the killings of other citizens are by extension killers themselves. She said that when you massacre, it was mainly IPOP members that were killed, and too many the lives of IPOP don't matter, same as shit is. We just have a bunch of bloodthirsty proxy killers as fellow citizens. Thank you for listening to this news. It is evil. It's evil. Our government is evil. Because if they are not evil, they wouldn't have this derived joy seeing they, they are, they are fellow human being being killed unjustly. They wouldn't have derived joy seeing the downfall of their fellow human being. You can imagine. How many months now? Our Nigerian government are yet to find out the people that ordered the Lekki massacre. We are in a very bad government. A very bad government and it is evil and devilish. I don't blame the whites that are very much afraid of coming to this country. And again, I don't blame them for refusing some of our Nigerians in their country. Or checkmating them properly, the ones that have already gotten there. I don't blame them. Because that is what this administration has turned us into. We have a very bad government. I've never seen a country that can be so that can be so staunch in line. Despite the many video footage presented presented to them as a proof of the Lekki massacre, yet they are still standing on the ground that they never committed the crime. You see? They are still standing on the ground. What will you call such a person? Such a person that was caught red-handed and is still telling you that Truly, you caught him red-handed, but it is not true that he actually committed the crime. What a mess. Is that person not a, an evil? Is he not a Satan? The Nigerian soldiers are still lying that they never committed a crime. And our Nigerian government are still saying that they never ordered the soldiers. I think 
it it is i think it's our time the youth take it up this time and give to them to the to nigerian government that we are truly looking for because if case is not taken i see revolution taking place just like tb joshua have said and some other pastors because this lies and injustice is becoming too much it's becoming too much and unbearable i only pray i only pray that this judicial panel arrives at 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 a a, 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 a positive end because if justice is not given to this youth then nigerian will now see the the second part of the nigerian youth because the late the what they have just seen now is just a tip of the iceberg it's just a tip of the iceberg <laughs> my viewers i've never seen a country that promotes injustice like this country nigeria a country that believe only on themselves and not and and, and, and not to other people it is this, them, themselves that matters to them other person doesn't matter other person doesn't matter who are you to challenge them that is what it will tell you enough is enough enough is enough something needs to be done something needs to be done because if nothing is done done concerning this i tell you these people will make nonsense of us these people will keep making mockery of the people you understand they keep making mockery of the people have they already started haven't they started yeah haven't they started making mockery of the people already This can never happen anymore. This needs to come to an end and to stop. Because mm. if it doesn't come to stop, if the youth doesn't work to put this to, to, to an end, I tell you, they will keep allowing this to repeat itself. So let us all voice out together and say no to this injustice. Let us all voice out together and say no to this wickedness. It is wickedness because they have denied us of our rights. They have. So enough is enough. So my humble youth, you have to speak up. Alright? So please, my viewers, Deem it free to come into this matter and leave your own comments below the comment box. Click mm -hmm. on the subscription mm -hmm. buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.